One big beneficiary of the work from home boom has been data center company Equinix. Shares are up more than 30% in just the past month, outpacing the S&P 500 this year. Let's bring in Charles Myers, the CEO of Equinix. Charles, great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Melissa. Welcome back. Good to be with you. Uh, thank you. Uh, the stock actually hit its 52-week high just last week. So there's a lot of expectation that this sort of work from home boom and the need for, for more bandwidth and, and the ability to work from other places will continue. Can you walk us through, you know, if you're building a new data center, how many more uh, servers will fit in there? How many more homes or businesses could that serve? How should investors think this boom through when it comes to translating that into your expansion? Yeah, I mean, I think that the work from home sort of massive experiment we've been forced into here is just one piece of a much bigger picture around the demand for digital, which I think is really a very prevalent trend and, a, and an incredibly durable one. And uh, if you look at our platform, I often refer to our platform as sort of the engine room of the digital economy. Um, some of the most important digital infrastructure assets in the world live inside of our data centers, uh, 210 of them in 55 markets uh, around the world comprising about 10 million square feet of technical space. So if you if you think about that or in, try to envision it, it's 173 football fields put end to end, all filled with uh, networking, compute, storage gear, um, fueling every big bit digital brand you can think of. And uh, so tons of capacity going into serving the uh, the digital demands of the, uh, of the, of the world. Um, you recently indicated that customers are, are planning to accelerate spending right now in order to, to meet their needs. How should investors think about this acceleration in spending, particularly when it comes from the enterprise segment, which is about 18 percent of your revenues, um, in the context of a slowdown globally? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's a bit of a balance, uh, you know, a bit of a mixed message or a mixed uh, bag in that I think what we're seeing is certainly a, an increase from some of our service provider customers who are seeing some acute demands on their infrastructure and they're looking to increase capacity, you know, and those are service providers, the likes of WebEx, for example, um, uh, the Cisco unit, uh, uh, video conferencing unit, which we've been helping, you know, scale their uh, their capacity, Zoom, a big customer of ours, uh, all the networks, AT&T, Verizon, et cetera, uh, they're scaling their capacity. And so we're seeing, you know, near-term demands from them. Uh, in the enterprise market, I think we are seeing that people are really thinking uh, hard about their digital transformation strategy and realizing what an imperative it is for them. Um, but I do think every business is going to be impacted. So you see, I think, some slowing in enterprise sales cycles. Um, but but, uh, but I think they're going to remain very committed to their to their digital transformation strategies. So you think your customers are, are committed in terms of you mentioned digital transformation, that that bucket of money is sort of Teflon, even in this environment? Very much so. I, I think that they're, I think it's very much protected. And I think that in some cases, I think they're going to look to continue to add to that. Now, I think even in that dynamic, um, there's going to be winners and losers in sort of the overall digital picture. Um, but, you know, we, we really like our story in that I think we represent something that is enabling customers to implement hybrid and multi-cloud as their architecture of choice, really allowing them to connect their infrastructure to the major cloud providers around the world um, and, uh, and really meet, the, meet their needs.